What's up everyone, Brad here from the Money Dad channel. In this video, I'm gonna be updating my price target prediction on Pfizer. So uh, just yesterday I posted a video, I will link it up at the top of the video right now and also down in the description. I posted a price target prediction on Pfizer with a $48 price target all the way up here and I'm getting uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I'm getting uh, some nasty comments um, on that video because this stock is just taking a dump right now you can see we are heading straight down right now so I want to clear a few things up the pattern that I have on Pfizer right now is an inverted head and shoulders right so you got your shoulder here your head another shoulder and then we come up above the neckline uh, for a bull run, right? This inverts a bear trend, right? We have this bear trend and an inverted head and shoulders will take this bear trend and invert it into a bull trend, okay? So that is the plan. That is what a, an, an inverted head and shoulders does and it does look like there is an inverted head and shoulders playing out on Pfizer. Now, that said, an inverted head and shoulders has an 83% success rate. That means it's not going to work 17% of the time. Also, that 83% success rate occurs after we have a confirmed breakout. So with this particular pattern, it's possible that we don't have a confirmed breakout yet because even though we've broken out above this neckline right here, uh, more often than not, on these head and shoulder patterns and inverted head and shoulder patterns, we see it, a breakout over the neckline and then a retracement to test the neckline and then we get our breakout. So we could absolutely still test this neckline down here. And let me pull it out a little bit further to show you that we could come down here we could absolutely come down here and test this neckline, maybe as low as $36, maybe that range, and then head up to $48. Um, that, none of that could happen. I mean, this might not end up playing out. Like I said, head and shoulders, and inverted head and, head and shoulders, have an 83% reliability rate. That means 17% of the time, it's not gonna happen, right? It's not gonna happen every single time. This is not 100%. Um, we may still need to test the neckline before we head up, or this may not play out at all. Um, so there's a lot of things that can happen here. I'm not trying to predict the future here. I'm not saying that I'm gonna be right every single time. I'm just giving you the data that's out there. This is an 83% success rate. That means it's not gonna happen every time. And these head and shoulders, inverted head and shoulders, after they break, uh, through the neckline after the final shoulder, they often come back and retest the neckline before you enter your trade and then go for your price target, okay? So we have that $48 price target. We're breaking out above the neckline. We may retrace, hit this neckline, and then once we start bouncing back up, that's when you enter your trade and you go for that $48 price target. Okay, that's how you play this. So I wanted to clarify that because there's a lot of attention on that Pfizer video right now because Pfizer is in the news a lot and Pfizer is dropping a lot right now. So um, if we retest this neckline and then bounce off of it, bounce right off of it, we start coming up, that's when you enter your trade. That's when you have an 83% chance of successfully hitting this price target of 48 bucks. So you can see we just set this randomly at right around the $38 range and you're targeting 48 so you're talking $10 of profit on a $38 stock so that's somewhere in the 25% profit range so um, there's a lot of profit to be made on this trade but you have to do it right you got to know how these patterns work you got to know when to enter your trade you got to be smart about this stuff you got to know what you're doing that's all I got for this Pfizer update. Um, I kind of do hope, honestly, I kind of do hope we retest this neckline and bounce off of it because then that will give us a little bit of clarity. We'll know exactly what's going on here. If we turn up from here, there, we're going to have this weird squiggly. We're not going to know, you know, okay, are we heading up to our price target from here or are we eventually going to break back down and hit this neckline again? I'm kind of just hoping, honestly, we just keep dropping and hit this neckline and bounce off of it. Um, so all that said, if we break below that neckline, all bets are off. 
this is and th that kind of just destroys the whole setup and we no longer have an inverted head and shoulders setup anymore so um, keep an eye out for this price action because uh, I feel like every single candlestick is going to matter here going forward for Pfizer. Okay, that's all I got for this Pfizer update. If you guys uh, got some value out of this, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. I'll see you there and in the next video. Thanks, guys.